I'm Eamon Benarus and I'm going to be answering your questions. Who was your football idol growing up? Um, it's a good question. I would probably say Ronaldinho or maybe even Hazard. What would your dream five-a-side team be? I would have in goal Manuel Neuer um, at the back, Van Dijk, two centre midfielders, defensive-wise Ngolo Kante and for the attacking bit Kevin De Bruyne and up front I think I would go with Neymar. What were your first ever pair of football boots? I think I was five I want to say when I got my first pair of football boots. Nice pair of Puma Kings, the old versions. Um, they were quite actually quite expensive back then, so I was very happy when I got them. Who has had the biggest influence on you? I think I would say my dad. He's a very hard-working guy, so obviously I, I followed in his footsteps a bit, and he's motivated me to, to become the player I am now. How long have you been at City for? I've been here since I was six, 12 years now. Um, I've enjoyed every minute, to be fair, and yeah, it's been good. Question from Alex Scott. What's it like being so small? Good question. I think I'm about 5'9", actually, so not too small. You would have to ask Jada Silver that one. What did it feel like to make your debut? It was probably one of the highlights of my life, to be honest. It was quite weird because I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. So I've just been training with the first team for maybe two, two weeks, and I got the call up to the bench, and then it was in the last, last 10 minutes, maybe, against Barnsley, where we hadn't won at home for quite a while. So I wasn't really expecting it, but it was it was a great feeling. Would you rather score a last minute goal in the FA Cup final or the goal to get us promoted? It would have to be the goal to get us promoted. Um, I think that's, that's the aim of the club. Everyone's ambition here is to get promoted. So yeah, it would have to be that one. Favourite match played? I would go with Stoke at home. Um, they were quite high up in the table and we weren't on the best run. So yeah, definitely that one. We won 1-0 and I played the full 90 with, along with some other youngsters. I think Alex was playing as well. But yeah, that was a very good game. Best takeaway in Bristol? I would probably say Quigley's, if you know Quigley's. Good takeaway, actually owned by my dad. Another one, probably, there's one called Chow, um, does Indian, uh, it, it, Italian takeaway, sorry. And it, yeah, it's nice food. Who is better, Ronaldo or Messi? Tough question, I don't know how to answer this one because I, I like them both. I think mindset wise, Ronaldo is, I, I like Ronaldo because he's, I think he's more driven and more almost, he, he's worked hard to get where he's got. Uh, Messi, I think is a lot of natural talent and yeah, I do appreciate how, how good and skilled he is in the game. So I would have to sit on the fence maybe that one. Who takes the longest to get ready on the team? Wow, um, I think we're all quite quick to be honest, but maybe Thomas Callas, he likes slicking back his hair. Um, putting nice Joe in it. Also Riley Towler. Nando's order. I would get a medium butterfly chicken burger, peri peri chips, and maybe uh, garlic bread. Worst trim on the team. TC's got to be up there, Tommy Conway. His it isn't the best trim, very safe. Maybe Pringy as well. Pringy's trim is not, not my favorite anyway. Favorite Bristol City chant? Quite like Jada Silver's. Jada Silver's got a good chant. <laughs> Bence has got a good chant as well. What's one tip you would give to a younger player looking to progress their game? Um, firstly, most importantly, enjoy yourself because if you don't enjoy yourself, I don't think you'll get very far. And secondly, work hard, put in the, put in the work to get where you want to be. And probably thirdly, show get, get a unique part of your game that can impress others and use it to show what you can do. Who is your favourite centre midfielder of all time? A lot of players here, but um, all round wise, I would probably have to say Vieira. I think he could do all aspects. Um, he could do the defensive side of the game and he was very physical presence in there really and was very good on that Arsenal Invincibles team. Who was your favourite City player of all time? There's a few I've got up there. I would put Joe Bryan, uh, Bobby Reid, Luke Freeman, J. Emmanuel Thomas. But if I had to go for one, probably Luke Freeman. I used to like the way he played and I think he plays in a similar position to me. So I've always looked, looked at him as one of my favourite players. Who spends the longest time in the mirror? Probably Jada Silva. After he's got fresh trim, he's just looking at himself, checking if he's good looking or not. He always smells nice to be fair, so he's in the mirror spraying his fragrances. So yeah, Jada Silva. What number would you have if it wasn't 38? Maybe 27, because it's my birthday, but I, I quite like the uh, 38 and hopefully eventually 10, but obviously I'm not there yet. 
What junior club did you play for? When I was younger, I used to play for my school team, which was uh, Westbury Park Foxes. Uh, had an iconic green and white kit. And then moving on from there, I played for Bristol City Supporters, which was just a local team. Um, and then when I was playing for them, there was a scout from Bristol City who invited me on trial to come to, to come here. How tall are you from Antoine Semenya? I'm probably five, eight and a half, if I'm being humble. Um, maybe on a good day with some nice shoes on, 5'9". And if I'm 5'9", then I'm rounding up to 5'10". So I'll go 5'10". Best banter in the squad? It's got to be Joe Williams. Joe Williams is a funny guy. Uh, I know Antoine, last time I seen him, he said he's up there. I don't agree with that one. But um, yeah, probably Joe Williams. Who is the best dancer in City? Haven't really seen many dance moves, to be honest. But maybe Jay De Silva. He likes to um, bust a move here and there. Um, before the game, he's always dancing and yeah, I wouldn't describe it as dancing to be honest, but he's, he's moving. Who has the worst dress style? I'm gonna say Joe Williams, quite a uh, repetitive gear. And I know that a couple of lads have, um, have got into him for wearing the same Yeezys every day. So yeah, I'll say Joe Williams. Would you rather have a cold, ev a cold every day or have a constant itch on your back you can't reach? I wouldn't like any of them to be honest with you, but um, if I was to have one, I would say a constant itch on my back because if I had a cold every year, I don't think I'd play football too well. So yeah, itch on my back. Would you and Alex ever be flatmates or would it be carnage? Yes, it would be carnage. I'm not the best cook and I can definitely say that Alex isn't the best cook. So I don't think we'll be eating much there. And I think that Alex is living with Tommy Conway at the minute and I've heard that their house is a carnage. So maybe in the future, but not at the minute. If you wasn't a football player, what job would you do? I've always wanted to be a footballer since I was young, to be honest with you, but if I wasn't, I did quite well in school, so I would probably maybe be a doctor. I'd train to be a doctor, um, something that I'd like to be, a surgeon or something like that. Who was the best player you've played against when you were in the academy? Uh, good question. Definitely Jude Bellingham. Um, when he was at Birmingham, he was a, you could tell he had a lot of talent. Basically, a younger version of how he plays now. So you could always tell he was he was going to go far. Cheeky nutmeg or booting an opponent's boot into the dormant stand? Well, I've got a short explanation for this one. So when I kicked that guy's boot, he had been uh, nibbling at my ankles all game. So I just tried to give the boot a little tap to make him lose his head, but it kind of went traveling a lot further than I thought it would. So probably won't be doing that again, just in case I get sent off or something. And I think I'll go with the cheeky nutmeg. How many holes does a straw have? One or two? Um, depends how you look at it. It depends how you see life, to be honest. If you look at it from the, if you look at it from the side, it's got two, I guess. But if you look at it from through the hole, then there's only one. I would say two, because otherwise you wouldn't, if you had one hole, then you wouldn't be able to suck out of it. So it's not a straw. 